Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The recent escalation of hostilities between Iran and Israel, underscored by Iran's launch of over 300 missiles and drones towards Israeli territory on April 13, 2024, has reignited discussions surrounding Western aerial support for Ukrainian forces. While the prospect of bolstering Ukraine's anti-drone and anti-missile defense capabilities garners attention and support from various quarters, the intricacies and potential ramifications of such initiatives warrant careful consideration. The proposition put forth by Ukrainian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dmytro Kaleba, suggesting collaboration with Poland to deploy Patriot anti-aircraft missile systems in western Ukraine, presents a compelling but multifaceted proposal. Kaleba's vision of leasing Patriot systems from Poland to fortify Ukrainian airspace against Russian missile and drone incursions reflects a proactive stance aimed at enhancing Ukraine's defensive posture. However, Brigadier General Tomasz Druniak, former Polish Air Force Inspector General, offers a sobering assessment of the proposal, highlighting both technical and geopolitical challenges. While acknowledging the technical feasibility of such a deployment, Druniak underscores the potential for escalation and the imperative of robust radar connectivity for effective air defense operations. Integration of Ukrainian radars into NATO system or the deployment of NATO radars in Ukraine emerges as potential solutions, albeit fraught with geopolitical sensitivities and the risk of triggering Russian military responses. Moreover, concerns voiced by Andrei Gurzyba, head of the same defense committee, underscore the delicate balance between supporting Ukraine's defense efforts and inadvertently exacerbating regional tensions. Gurzyba's reservations regarding Poland's involvement in Ukrainian air defense, particularly within proximity to neighboring countries, highlight the fine line between defensive measures and provocative actions that could escalate into broader conflicts. Amidst these deliberations, it's imperative to contextualize Western responses within the broader geopolitical landscape. Iran and Russia, staunch opponents of NATO systems, harbor distinct ambitions and international positions. While Iran's recent actions underscore the pressing need for enhanced defensive capabilities, Russia's calculus is influenced by its ongoing conflict with NATO in the Ukrainian theater. Any NATO defense actions, particularly within proximity to Russian borders, risk exacerbating tensions and precipitating further escalation. In navigating these complexities, a balanced approach is paramount. While exploring avenues for enhancing Ukraine's defensive capabilities, stakeholders must exercise caution to mitigate the risk of unintended escalation. This entails robust diplomatic engagement, leveraging existing military assistance channels, and prioritizing measures that reinforce deterrence without inflaming regional tensions. Ultimately, Western aerial support for Ukrainian defense represents a nuanced and multifaceted endeavor, necessitating careful deliberation and strategic foresight to navigate the intricacies of regional dynamics and geopolitical imperatives. As stakeholders continue to weigh the merits and risks of various proposals, the imperative of safeguarding Ukraine's sovereignty and security remains paramount amidst a volatile and unpredictable geopolitical landscape. That's all for now, see you later.